59. On Newstalk 1290 Coil or the Summit League Network, the commissioner, Josh Benton, is in the house tonight. And the ball is in the air and an awkward toss and it ends up in the hands of South Dakota and we are underway. Top of the key to Frankie Fiddler gives it right back to J.J. White. White tosses it left of the lane to Nick Davis. Davis posts up on Chewin, gets him down into the paint, goes with the left-handed hook off the square and in and that's how we start with a bucket by Nick Davis. Fiddler had 22 last time out on 7 of 16 shooting. Back to Fiddler, catches it, top of the key, straight on three, good! Off of J.J. White. Frankie Fiddler has over 500 points this season. That he is the third in Division I era to do that for a man. Chewing into the lane, right-handed hook over Davis, ties the game, or makes it a 5-4 game, I beg your pardon. Fiddler again, straight on three. This result is off the mark. Rebound by Stewart. We might be in a track meet here. Stewart up the floor. Bruns now shovels it left corner by Holt. A three is good. South Dakota this year, 193 threes. That's an area where Omaha's got to be better. And White drives all the way down the floor and ties the game at seven. Shovel, right corner, catch, shoot three. Marshall, too long. Rebound by Nick Davis, offensive variety. Goes up against Chew and right-handed hook. Drops right down the bottom of the cup. And Davis has got four, and Omaha's on top. Now holds it top of the key, plays catch with White. Ten on the shot clock. Left corner, Marshall, who missed a corner pocket three on the right side. Step back, left corner pocket three is good. It's a two. 11-9. Boy, this is a fan-friendly pace. Davis goes right at Chewin. Spins in the lane. Left-handed hook is up and good. To the right side of the rim. He used the left hand again. And Nick Davis has got six to lead the Mavs early on. The leads back to fourth. Now Bruns lobs it right of the lane to Chewin. Posts up on Sutton. Backs him down. Spins to the baseline. Right-handed hook is good. Boy, this might be a Davis versus Chewin night. South Dakota doesn't force many turnovers. As a matter of fact, they've only forced 19 in the last four games, this being the fourth game. Bruns wide open underneath the basket. Good feed by Brack from a high-low entry. Chewin left alone there. Bruns puts it on the floor, drives around Fiddler, bounces underneath the Brack. Brack going up, shot blocked by Davis. Out of bounds. And South Dakota will keep it. Isaac Bruns drives to the free throw line, kicks it out. Holt thought about driving. They're shooting out of the corner, drives into the paint, spinning down low, up and over Sutton. Right-handed hook is good. And South Dakota takes a 15-14 lead. Here's Fiddler turning, top of the key, kicks it back to Ambrose. Wide open, three on the way. Bam! That is something that is emerging. Jamal Ambrose is now four for his last six from three-point range. White works off an Ambrose screen. Fiddler gets to the free throw line, kicks it back out. Ambrose right wing three. It is good again! Bam! The big freshman working on Jake Brack. Bellevue against Omaha in that matchup. Tosses it left side of the floor to Jade Marshall. Long three on the way. It's good! Jade Marshall trains a three. And the Mavs have their largest lead, 23-15. They're on a 9-0 run. J.J. White was right in front of Lewis Garrison, but it was Sutton who pushed off to go get the offensive rebound. That'll be the first personal foul on Markel Sutton. Left elbow, hesitation, driving with the left hand of Stewart, and it's up and in. And Caleb Stewart now with six. B-O-S-T-Y-N into the front court, picked up by Stubblefield and Omaha's familiar man-to-man -man defense. Stewart, a three is good over Stubblefield. Cross court to Davis. Davis out beyond the arc, wants Frankie Fiddler. Fiddler, who's got a deep three, drives to the free throw line, pull up, jump shot, good! Bottom of the cup for Frankie Fiddler. Fiddler now with five in the game. And Omaha settles into the man-to-man -man defense. Stewart with that left hand, driving left on a bounce, left of the lane, chewing. Bodies up with Davis underneath the basket. Right-handed hook rolls over the rim and good. And Chewin's got six. And Ambrose each have six. Here's White drives by Chewin. Fade away. Rolled off the back of the rim. Offensive rebound by Davis. Davis going up with the left hand. Lays it up in. And, and Nick Davis has come to play tonight. Birch along the right sideline looking for some help. As Davis picks him up in the man-to-man -man defense. Now Holt, right corner, back to Birchall. They stay on the right side, and Holt launches a three, and he hits a three. Boston Holt. Holt going downhill between the legs, dribble. Lost it momentarily against Stubblefield. Stubblefield steals it away. Up ahead to Fiddler. Fiddler all by himself. Jams it home. Grant Stubblefield got on the floor, forced the steal, and Fiddler got the easy hammer, and the Mavs are back up 6-31-25. Boy, it is aggressive defense. Three by Stewart it is in and out and down. Paul Bruns drives downhill. Contact with Sutton. Threw up a wild shot. No. Chewin grabbed the rebound. Had it whacked out of his hands by Sutton. Picked up by Stubblefield. Here come the Mavs. Stubblefield down the floor. Hero step. Left hander off the glass is good. Fabulous place for football. Yes. I like their new arena. And a steal by Stubblefield. Second of the night. Took it away from Isaac Bruns. Driving his Stubblefield to the glass. Layup, yes, with that strong left hand. Mavs have the ball. They're up eight. We've got a second half. Get him here tonight. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Yeah. 
you're a new father. Sutton down low, layup, yes. Good feed by Fiddler over the top of the defense, and Markell now has eight. They won the first meeting on New Year's Eve in Vermillion, 67 to 51. Chewing top of the key. Omaha's been really cheating a lot. Runs down the lane, Stewart kicks it out. Three on the way by Isaac Bruns is good. Had a good football season, got into the FCS playoffs. Three by Isaac Bruns is good. Bottom of the cup, Isaac Bruns with a couple of threes. Omaha's lead sliced to seven, 43-36. Omaha can go two for one here. 40 seconds to go. Fiddler stops, left elbow, hesitates, leans in, shot up, good! He was trying to draw a foul, didn't get the foul, but got the bucket. And South Dakota will play for the final shot as Eric Peterson calls out the play, dressed in the black quarter zip in his second year as the head coach. Took over for Todd Lee, driving Stewart, lobs it on a floater, is good. Taste it again and again. Rotella's Italian Bakery, over 100 years of baking excellence. Wishing you and serving you the very best. Grabs the rebound into the front court. Seven point lead for Omaha just underway here in the second half. Chewin throws it up and in. I don't know if that was White brings it out of the corner. The Atlanta product lobs it right of the lane to Stewart. Against, or Sutton against the double team. White slips it to Marshall. Drives into the middle of the lane. Stops. Floater. Good. Credit their aggressiveness on the glass. Davis a couple of times gone and got those rebounds. Went up strong. Omaha. And they go to Fiddler right away on the inbound. Omaha's lead is 10. 16.52 to go. Holt drives down the lane. A floater is good. Right-handed push shot gets Holt the double figures with 10. Holt, though, fires it in the lane to Chewin. Chewin spinning, threw up a wild shot. No, got his own miss. No, ball batted around, got it again. Third time is a charm. But during that stretch, six of the last eight games have been decided by 10 points or less. And Chewin, a right-handed hook over Ambrose, drawing the foul and getting the bucket. Middle of the floor and a bounce left elbow to Chewin, who's got 15 on the handoff. Flips it to Birchall. Birchall back to Chewin. Underneath, off the glass, and good. And he can do whatever he wants now. He's got 18 in the game. Right elbow, resets it to White. Ambrose wide open, another three is no good. Rebound, Sutton, yes! Markel Sutton grabbed the offensive rebound in the traffic and put it up and in to get into double figures with 11. Fiddler works against Birchall, backs him down to the left block. Double team comes, dribbles up, lobs it down low for Davis, and the pass was off the mark, intercepted by Chewin. Boy, Omaha's just out of sorts, Kyler offensively, as Holt goes on the attack. Floater is up and good. Field enters it for Fiddler, faces up on Paul Bruns, swings through, back to the top of the key to Stubblefield, head fake on Birchall, drives right of the lane, floater off the glass is good. Stubblefield got it up high enough that it wouldn't be blocked. Stewart in the front court. Top of the key to Holt, works against the freshman Stubblefield, drive down the lane, another floater is too strong, and Holt went over the back and put it up and in and drew the foul. 57 to 51, Omaha's up 60 to 59 here, 9.53 to go, Bruns got to the free throw line, pull up jump shot, too strong, rebound by Chewin. Chewin in the lane, throws one up over Fiddler and it goes down. Markel Sutton looking for some help, starts the right side of the lane to Davis. Davis works underneath the basket, reverse layup, yes. Good job by Davis. Here come the Mavs, can they turn the D into the O? Stubblefield, Fiddler, left wing three, is no good. Sutton, offensive rebound, yes! Hustled down the floor and Markel picked up the loose change. Operates in front of the South Dakota bench, right side off the turn. Stewart driving around Davis underneath the basket, kicks it left corner, runs with a three, ties it at 64. On average in the summer league, Oral Roberts averaging 54-35. South Dakota State is second. Cross court, White catches it, wide open, three on the way. Bam! Fiddler to White. Fiddler posts up on runs, backs him down against the double team, dribbles away from it. Now back out to Jaden Marshall. Sutton top of the key, Omaha with the shot clock at 11. White a three, good! And Paul Bruns will inbound to the left of the South Dakota goal. Lobs it up high to Birchall, back to Bruns. They run a set play, three on the way is good, and we're tied again at 72. Fiddler angling left, cross court, White drives into the lane, Euro step, layup is good, and he got fouled! Timeout on the floor, and the Mavs lead is four, and White will go to the line. Omaha will work the clock as we're at three minutes. Fiddler drives on Bruns, got to the basket, layup, good, and he got fouled, and Fiddler's going to the line to complete the three-point play. There was really nothing Bruns could do, and Frankie, one of his most quiet of the season. Omaha's hit 80, they're up 80 to 72. 
Stewart, pull up, jump shot, good. That snaps a streak of about two and a half minutes. Both teams are in the double bonus. Sutton, cross court, Marshall, left corner three, good! Jaden Marshall drills the three. To learn how to win these games. All five Omaha starters are in double figures. Omaha's only played seven. Entry pass, Fiddler at the rim catches it and lays it up and over the orange. 90 seconds to go. Bruns, right wing three, good. Timeout, South Dakota. Bruns, Paul Bruns takes over on Fiddler, works off a of Davis screen. Fiddler has the ball in his hands, hooks it back to J.J. White. White pulls up with a jump shot, good! Three-pointer, and that might be the dagger. Another finishing kick by the junior point guard. Stewart dribbles left of the lane, drives on Sutton, lays it off the glass, and good. Sutton, or Stewart's got 18. And now we'll get ready for South Dakota State on Saturday night. High Archer off the glass is good by Holt. Timeout taken by Eric Peterson. 90 to 81. Second free throw is good. We'll talk to the head coach on the postgame show. Here comes Stewart up the floor. Eight seconds to go. Top of the key on the turn. Bruns three good. Bruns. With four threes, Omaha, six seconds to go. Throws, rebound by South Dakota, 2-1. Bruns, three on the way at the buzzer is no good. And Omaha survives against South Dakota in a highly entertaining game. Omaha, 91. South Dakota, 84.